guys, this is Nate with My Liberty Homestead. Hope you're having a good night. Happy New Year's Eve to you. Uh, today we're going to be digging into some more of these simple ciders we just talked about. Um, this is We're going to keep it just as simple as uh, the last time. Uh, what we got here is some organic <laughs> apple juice from Whole Foods or Whole Paycheck, whichever you like to call it, and some uh, amber agave. So this is agave in the raw. We're going to take enough uh, space out of this carboy to uh, fit one pound of the agave in and uh, then we'll put our yeast nutrient in and pitch our yeast. Uh, today we're going with the EC1118. Um, so we're gonna probably end up back sweetening this in the end, but we're gonna see how it turns out. I might like it kind of dry. Um, so what we're gonna get started with first is uh, just some tasting notes. So in my hopes to become a better wine and mead maker, I'm gonna go through some tasting and see what each tastes like before and after. So I'll take some notes along the way. And I'll leave some of those in the show notes as well. You can also check them out on the blog. You know, I gotta be honest, that has to be some of the best apple juice I've ever had. Um, that's great. I know I probably could have shook that up a little bit. Um, but this uh, this is not from Concentrate. That's why I like this. Also with the glass, it's nice to have a, an extra carboy laying around. Um, but no, this this juice is phenomenal. I'm, I'm really happy with the taste and uh, we're gonna try the agave next year. I've also never had the agave in the raw before. Um, I was actually at Big Loss today and saw that on sale for five bucks. Um, got a real nice toasty, almost caramely flavor, almost marshmallowy, marshmallowy kind of taste. If you guys don't have a home scale, I definitely recommend getting one. It is a great little tool to have. I use mine all the time. We're going to go ahead and add the 16 ounces here. We'll get this cap back on here and give this a good shake. All right, so we need to add our yeast nutrient. Um, I'm going to be up in the game, up in my game, to go into the Fermato. As of now, I'm using the uh, diammonium phosphate, and uh, and this works pretty well. Um, it is not an organic form of nutrient that the yeast can absorb so the the fermate o really is the the top of the game um, it is a lot more expensive though so i got to get some of that all of the homebrew supply stores of course right now are out of it all right so i wanted to take a specific gravity reading of the juice before and after the addition of the agave and the raw so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that uh, obviously each brand of juice is going to have a different specific gravity to start out with. Uh, it doesn't make a whole world of difference between the beginning and the end as long as the ending starting gravity is the same. All right, so my beginning, my beginning gravity, at least on the juice, was 1065. All right, so the uh, starting gravity on the must is 109. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add our yeast. Um, so I rehydrated this. Uh, Lalvin recommends between 104 and 109 degrees. So that's uh, obviously following their lead. And we're going to go ahead and top off with the rest of our apple juice. All right, guys, so I let the foam settle out so I could go ahead and top this off to the neck of our carboy. So I'm going to go ahead and take another specific gravity reading so I can see exactly what we are. All right, we are uh, still at 1090, uh, almost exactly. So that's pretty good. Pretty excited about that. That's going to be nice and strong. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put our airlock on. We have our uh, yeast nutrient. We have our uh, um, agave in, and our um, we've already pitched our yeast. So we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and pitch this in, and uh, we're going to get from in. You, you guys probably see why I'm using this little plastic table. It's really easy to clean up spills because uh, they do happen and then it always is messy. Go ahead and pop this up and we should see fermentation here definitely within 24 hours, maybe even in the next 8 to 12. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing going and let it see and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, share with a home brewer who you think might like this, who might enjoy uh, something real similar. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.